coverage you can count on with meteorologist Rob Elvington and the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. And a pretty quiet evening as we look over top of Lake Gunnersville. This view brought to you by the Thompson Roofing and Construction Sky Camera Network. Of course, a big weekend at Lake Gunnersville with Hydro Fest. And just keep in mind, if you're heading out to Marshall County or anywhere outside here this weekend, we do have that chance for some scattered thunderstorms. Of course, best chances coming in the mid to late afternoon hours, both Saturday and Sunday. Sunday bringing the better chances, but again, just be weather aware if you're out and about this weekend, but I think they should be okay out at Hydro Fest. Just may have to dodge a couple of storms. What we're seeing right now on the way 31 storm tracker early warning radar. Now we've had this tiny little tongue of moisture moving in from out of the southeast through the entire day. You head west of I-65. We've had really dry air in place, but if you've been in DeKalb, Jackson County, it's been a little bit humid this afternoon and this evening, and that's allowed for a few showers to develop in DeKalb and Jackson County. Just have one that's left right now, just drifting over top of Pisgah here in the last 30 minutes. This is, a, of course, the look at the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network, and it continues to drift to the west northwest. May survive to make it to Highway 72, but it's not producing any cloud of ground lightning. And again, we're going to have plenty of sunshine tomorrow, so make sure you have that sun protection. Burn time is 10 minutes, uh, extreme UV index. And again, even with uh, the clouds building up, again, you could burn pretty quickly in the early afternoon hours. Highs are back to the mid to upper 90s for tomorrow. You will notice a little bit more humidity for all of North Alabama compared to today. So it's going to be a bit uh, on the hot side with heat indexes above 100. So there's a look at the humidity tracker. This is around 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. You'll notice all these deep greens. That's that muggy, humid air. Mix it all the way to about I-65. Still a little bit on the dry side for areas closer to the shoals. So a little bit more comfortable outside, closer to the shoals tomorrow. But then by Sunday, you'll notice how all the greens are overspreading all of North Alabama and with our next cold front approaching, that's going to bring better chances for those scattered thunderstorms. So let's take a look at future radar. Even by 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, we're still seeing some of those lingering showers, isolated storms kind of holding close to the Georgia state line. These are kind of developing along some of the higher elevations. And again, all that moisture will continue to slowly push west, seeing all those thunderstorms developing through your Saturday afternoon. This is right around 4 o'clock tomorrow. And then as we lose the heat of the day, we'll see a lot of those collapsing. But then by Sunday, another round of developing showers and thunderstorms and a lot of these storms may be dropping in from out of the northwest. You'll notice the sweeping line of storms coming in to even areas, including the shoals. This goes through 11 o'clock on Sunday, and we still have plenty more rain to go heading into your Monday and into your Tuesday. This is the rainfall forecast. This goes all the way through 11 o'clock on Tuesday evening and anywhere from a half an inch to up to about an inch of rainfall. And it has been very dry through this heat wave, so we could definitely use the rainfall throughout North Alabama. And of course, another way you can get a lot of rainfall this time of the year are from the tropics. And we are keeping a close eye on this guy right here. Here. This is a tropical wave moving through the tropical Atlantic and the National Hurricane Center actually gives it about a 60% chance of developing. That is kind of heading in our direction, but something we'll watch over the next week. On the 7-day forecast, we finally drop back down to the upper 80s on Monday ending that streak of 90 degree days. It'll end at about 15 days for Huntsville and then slowly warming back up by the middle of next week, but not nearly as hot as what we've seen the last two weeks.